Thank you for clicking on this video and don't forget to like and subscribe. This portion of this video is going to be talking about faster to the fun. Is it worth it? The answer is yes, it is worth it. And I want to show you and tell you what we received when we purchased the faster to the fun. One of the great things that we enjoyed about Faster to the Fun was when we arrived to the terminal, uh, there was a special section for us. Where I am pointing is where you go onto the ship and where we are sitting and behind us is the area for Faster to the Fun. we was able to get through the terminal quickly just because we had a faster to the fun printout on our terminal form. See the line to my right? We're in the line to the left and it's empty and open. One of the other things that we enjoyed was the priority guest line we were able to get in that same line to get our questions answered, to get things resolved. It was a good experience. We even had a dedicated guest service extension on our phone in our room for us because we were doing faster to the fun. So it was great because we didn't have to necessarily go down to the guest services desk. We could just use the extension that was in um, our room's phone. So that was a great experience too. So the program also include dining reservations. So you have priority main dining room and specialty restaurant reservations if you don't have any time dining. You also get priority water shuttle boarding. Um, so that's great with this program. Um, debarkation, um, you will be able to choose early or late debarkation. Um, and the price is pretty simple. Um, the price is per stateroom. So only one guest needs to purchase faster to the fun and all occupants in that room receive the benefit. And the prices, basically, you just go on Carnival and look at the prices for two to three days, four to five days, six to eight days. That's how the prices vary. Now this part of the video, I want to show you the upstairs of the Serenity. My last video when we were on the Radiance, I only thought that it was just one level of the Serenity, but I want to show you um, that there's more. It has an upstairs here. So up the steps we go. Let's show you what this um, second floor looks like. Now the weather here was um, cloudy. The sun was hiding behind the clouds, but it doesn't matter. I'm on vacation. We're on vacation. We're enjoying ourselves. Um, this is where it is. Um, it's plenty of space to just lounge and just get away if you want to. Um, we were here until we sailed off. So I just wanted to show you um, this area at the top before we set sail out. I'm walking in this area because I want to show you when I walk and turn left, you'll see it be open. <laughs> to me, this is a great angle.
to see things below and in the back of the ship. And this is our room. Our keys are above, as you can see. Um, I'm just going to do a quick rundown of the room and what it looks like. The balcony, standard balcony, bathroom, standard bathroom look in the Cloud 9 uh, balcony suite here. The colors are reminiscing of Cloud 9, so you would see that here. Now we're just walking around the ship. So I just wanted to show you some of the little areas that we um, was walking around. The Heroes uh, Bar, you know, dedicated to those that serve and who is no longer with us. Just showing you how it looks inside. Plenty of space to watch TV, sports and things. And then that's the casino. Then we're walking around and I noticed this little area, which is the arcade area. Um, I didn't get to see the area when I first came on the Radiance a few years back, which is on this channel. But this time I was able to go into the uh, arcade and actually this day they were repairing one of the machines. So I decided to just look and then walk back out. <laughs> Now we're just walking around this area where you can have plenty of seating um, and they use this area for all different types of activities as well. Love the color of this place. Now this is the Liquid Lounge. This is where different performances happen. Just want to show you what it looks like inside when nothing is happening. So this is what it looks like when nothing is happening. <laughs> nice plate, nice space, plenty of room to sit. And this was, let's make a deal. Just showing you what it, looks like the lighting and what to expect walking around waving at people here and there now this is the area where you get pizza now the radiance is a smaller ship so you're not going to have that huge space that you would see in other uh pizza areas like um panorama or um other ships that's on this page as well on this channel this is the fitness area so going in seeing what it's about on the first day of the cruise you can always take your phone take your camera and then walk around to the different areas um, especially a spa area they would be glad to escort you to be able to see what you may want to indulge in and so this is the cloud nine area um because we had a cloud nine balcony we get unlimited uh time in any of the suites in here the sauna the thermal suites unlimited time in unlimited days um, because we have the cloud nine balcony room so this is inside the sauna here a decent size for a smaller ship. And then this is the heated loungers. They are so relaxing. And these two things are the shower, rain shower. Now, if you want to see how it looks, you could just stay on this channel, go down a little further. You'll see my video when we went on the Radiance a few years back. I showed how the rain comes down and the colors that are there as well. And this is the Himalaya um, sauna. So, and this is another room, steam room. Oh, this is so relaxing. 
So this is just walking around um, the ship. This area here is like when you first get on the ship, you'll be on this floor. And I just wanted to show you just the decor and what it looks like um, with the colors. Once I made it to the top, I just show you down and they usually have different uh, performers playing music, live music in this area as well. And so one of the days we were eating, there you go, you have them performing literally on tables. <laughs> um, sorry, I couldn't let you hear the music, but you get the drift. Carnival is, you know, the fun ship and there it's us. So overall, we give this trip definitely a five. Um, we've been on this cruise before. Check that out on this channel. But I just wanted to show you the things that we enjoyed about this ship and um, for you just to have the opportunity to see and also enjoy as well.